Hello boys and girls, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial and today guys I'll be showing you how to fix your PC from using all your RAM. So you guys uh, find out one day you check Go system and you find this on your thing. Only 3.46 gigs of RAM out of 32. That is not good at all. And especially if you have an AMD a CPU, like a Ryzen 7, and they're known for eating a lot of RAM when they're like translating um, binary code for the application. So with this much RAM in used, you expect a lot of uh, application crashes. And if that's you, you came to the right video. And today in this video, I'll be showing you how to fix that. So solution number one to this problem um, with the amount of RAM being, not being used in your system is to physically check your RAM. I cannot stress this uh, enough, like literally just check your RAM. It could be because maybe it's like slightly misplaced or like, you know, one of them is faulty. And the thing about Windows is the business to see you is that it's, it has 32 gigs of RAM installed, but it won't say it's actually functioning. So that will trick people off and not to not check in their own RAM because I think, oh, it's probably Windows itself. It's not checking on my RAM. It just say I have installed 32, but it's not working. So, but people, I've learned people, I've learned to tell you, just check your RAM. It's not that hard. So to check your RAM, um, just make sure that it's in place and if you make if it's already in place and you make sure that I would take one RAM stick out and boot up with that one RAM stick and then if it works text the other one if neither one of them like uh, for the first one or the second one doesn't work or like one either one of them doesn't work uh, and it means that your RAM is faulty and it's only relying on that one RAM stick on the, uh, its best friend that's like neighbor uh, to do all the work for you and you just don't even realize it even though Windows is saying that you have the amount of RAM installed so that could be the problem for you is it's just easy as that just to physically check your physical RAM and if uh, that works for you uh, congratulations uh, it's, that means solution number one work for you and if that didn't work and your like RAM was working fine and stuff that means I'll move on to solution number two all right, guys. Um, we went solution number two, and I assume that you know your RAM is working fine or anything. There's no problems with it, but that still doesn't seem to fix the problem with um, actually Windows not using all your RAM. And so there's actually there's a way to fix this on Windows 10. So um, before I go on to the second solution, um, I want you guys to check uh, which operating system you use. Uh, you can check this by going to system information. So make sure your thing says 64-bit and not 32 because 32-bit will limit the RAM, amount of RAM you use. Um, to likely 4 gigs of RAM, that's like pretty low for that. And so, if it's 64 bit, you can use much RAM as you want higher than 4 gigs of RAM. So, make sure it's 64 bit. And if it doesn't say 64 bit, then reinstall Windows, making sure it's 64 bit and not 32. So, with that out of the way, um, let's go ahead and actually get the actual solution. So, we'll type in run and then type of msconfig. And then you should bring up system configuration and then click boot. And click advanced options and so make sure this thing is unchecked if it's already unchecked make sure it's unchecked because uh, with this checked on um, it could limit the amount of RAM you use and um, if you by unchecking it you let the computer you can freely use much RAM as you want and so click OK and then click apply and click OK and then a, a text box to say um, restart your PC but for me it doesn't show because I already have done that and um, I hope that works and so if it doesn't work I'll move on to solution number three so now you guys have tried everything and it doesn't seem to work and this could be in your registry. So registry tells what the PC would to do. So you can do this by typing in your search registry. Enter. So and so uh, keynote here. Um, it, changing it could like potentially be dangerous and it can affect your PC a lot. But don't worry. Um, make sure you click file, click export and then you click save. And then you create like a backup file right here. So if anything goes wrong or anything like that, you could always click this file and restore back to its uh, original settings. So just make sure you do that before proceeding. And you don't. Know, and I promise you, nothing bad will happen. So then, now you first have to go to local machine, local machine right here, and then you go to current control set. That's right here, and then you go to uh, session manager, which should be right all the way here. Session manager. Yep, here we are system manager and then once you click click memory management and just click don't click anything else just click this and so we have to go here click page file at shutdown file and so set this thing value to from zero to one and click ok and after you're done um, close that and then restart your PC one more time and see if it'll work and so you try all the solutions still doesn't work um, go in the comments down below and then just let me know if it still continues, I'll try the best of my ability to see if I can help you. 
And so other than that guys, if you really found this video really helpful, I would uh, please like and subscribe. And um, I, if you want me to post more videos like these in the future, I would like really appreciate it if you guys let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.